Hi everyone, it's Chef Jess. I'm executive chef here at the Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute. Let's get cooking here at the Musalam Nutritional Education Center. Right now we're gonna be making a green hummus. So what's a green hummus? Um, most hummus is made from garbanzo beans. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a twist on it. And instead of using garbanzo beans, we're gonna use edamame soybeans, okay? So you can buy these shelled already. You don't have to shell them. And then um, you defrost them. You can use your microwave, you can blanch them. Either way, I'm gonna use this as kind of my hummus or like my garbanzo beans. And then what are the cool other ingredients that go in there? We're gonna make it uber green by adding some cilantro. And so the one thing we need to remember about cilantro is that the stem is where most of the flavor is. The leaves are pretty, but the stem is where the flavor is. Um, for example, a Thai green curry is made specifically with the stems. So I'm just gonna break that up by hand and I'm gonna add the stems. Now, what if you do have somebody in the family that does not like cilantro? Because there are people who do feel like it tastes soapy to them, it's hereditary. You can use parsley. So you can use parsley instead. It won't have as strong of a flavor, but it'll make it super green too. And then we're gonna add some miso. So I've got some white miso. Some tahini, so it's sesame and say you don't have tahini. Um, if you went to the Japanese market to get the miso paste, you can get sesame paste too. So you can find sesame paste quite in quite a lot of different um, supermarkets. And then we've got some lemon juice, some cumin, and then we have olive oil and water. Those I'm gonna drizzle in while we keep the food processor going. But then we've got a lot of garlic we're gonna work with. Six cloves. You don't have to add them all if you don't, if you don't want, but I feel like it really makes this dish pop. So six cloves of garlic. And again, depending on the size, you might have very large cloves and so you can use less. Think of this as a base, oops like a blank canvas that you can do anything that you want to. So I'm gonna put my lid on. Um, you do need a food processor or at least a blender. So something that can blend it all together. An even immersion blender would work, but you do need it because the um, edamame is a little bit chunky. So I'm gonna let it go. And while it's blending, I'm gonna drizzle in my olive oil. I'm gonna stop it and look at the consistency. And so this is where you get to play around. If you want a thinner um, hummus or like something that's more spreadable, that's when you can add water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water, not too much. And then you've got this beautiful smoother hummus. So I'm going to take the bowl and you can serve this. You can even use it as a spread. You can use it as a dip. But it's just a unique way of using edamame and a different kind of dip that you can add to your repertoire of recipes. A little bit more. And there you are. Enjoy.